There are really big changes happening in Wizards of the Coast. And <clears throat> this is not my normal format for getting news out there. I'm not a news channel for D&D or anything like that. But I was given information very, very recently, and I wanted to get this out as soon as I can, of D&D's backup. So, uh, to introduce myself, my name is Gabriel Galway. This is the Ugly Goblin. You won't really be seeing much of him here because I have to edit this video as quickly as I can so I can get it out there before anyone else. Um, <clears throat> so, basically, to summarize, Wizards of the Coast has been trying to put out a new system. It's, it's like an updated system of 5e. They've been trying to put out one d and And there are so many other bigger contenders coming up the line with really interesting and dynamic new mechanics. Uh, 1D&D was meant to be something very familiar that's also backwards compatible, hopefully successful, but um, it doesn't seem to be going the way they want it to. And so Wizards of the Coast and the people at D&D have had a backup, a plan B, a more dynamic and uh, I guess like it would be closer to say that this is going to be 6th edition as opposed to 1D&D, which is kind of like this all-encompassing thing. They have, from the photo I have, they have changed the stats, they've changed a lot of the mechanics, the character sheet is completely different. It'll pop up somewhere on screen, I'll edit it in so you can see it. But I'm gonna go through a few of the things that I can see from this image and try to break down what we can expect for this new sixth edition if it does come out. From the way things are looking and from uh, my friend who's an insight into what's going on in the company, it looks like this is probably gonna be prioritized over 1D&D. Uh, they're going to go for a more radical approach with a brand new system, a brand new fresh set of rules, as opposed to the, the safer option of 1D&D, which they, it's looking to be very unsuccessful if they go down that route. So, looking at it, straight up, there's they've changed the tradition that's been there for like five editions now, which is the stats. You can see here, there are only four. They've gotten rid of like constitution strength. They seem to have maybe mash those together. Agility is there, which you can imagine is dexterity. They still have charisma, still have intelligence, but wisdom is gone. Uh, so there's only four stats and then some other hidden stat at the top of all of them. Represent with that D, uh, the two D20 uh, image. Also, you there's nowhere on this sheet. I mean, usually it's on the second sheet. Uh, and nowhere for like spell slots. It looks like here there is mana points. I think that says mana points up there between the health, the heart there and the big kind of fireball looking thing, which I also think says stamina points, which is crazy. So there's like, instead of there being spell slots, which I guess aren't very like intuitive, uh, they're going for mana points. So very video gamey and now stamina points too. So martial characters have stamina points, which would make sense for like their abilities, like instead of having key points and um, combat maneuvers or like uh, superiority dice or whatever that the, uh, the fighters have. Now maybe it's all encompassed in stamina points, which is really exciting. You can see there's two types of defenses here. There is a physical defense and it's someone's head. So I think it's a mental defense. Uh, really, really cool. Um, combat, they've got these four D20s. Now, I'm spectating, uh, and from what I've heard from small bits and notes and things, they're getting rid of like movement action, bonus action, and regular action all together. And these dice, I think, are for ticking off on your turn or like between turns. So you get just like four actions straight up, and you can do whatever you want with those actions, I'm assuming. It's, it's really, really cool. They've got exhaustion here, I think, by the skull, or that's maybe death saves. Maybe there's five death saves or something like that. Really interesting. And one thing that really caught my attention are the skills. So there's far less skills, but they've now got these meters that go up. You've got, I think that's probably athletic since it's in might. Um, but see, you've got like five bars or something. And the very, very top, above them all, You've got, it says, I think that says skills, pretty sure it says skills, but it's got like, I assume novice, adept, expert, um, maybe master, and then grandmaster, I guess. Uh, so you level up with your skills now. It's not just like you got the skill and that's it. Skills seem to level up. You seem to be able to level them up to get like really, really 
high proficiency in certain things, so you can really specialize now, which is very exciting. Uh, I think that says trades as well, so you can also level up a trade, which could be really cool. That's like kind of getting into like RuneScape vibes there, where you can maybe like the more you progress in a trade, the like the, the more you use it, like kind of Skyrim build, the, the further it goes. Um, and then languages at the very bottom, you can see there's, you can level up in a language. So I'm assuming that you can be like just completely fluent or you can just know a little bit in language, which makes total sense. I've had loads of players who just want to learn a bit. And it doesn't make any sense when you just learn a language overnight. Like, oh, I know everything there is to know about Gnomish or whatever, um, all of a sudden. So that's all really, really exciting. Um, again, they at the very top of the sheet, looking through it, they've got uh, they've got backgrounds still, and they've got classes and subclass. Um, they've got level, and then there's another thing there. Um, I think it says combat mastery. Uh, not sure what that is yet, but I assume you maybe can level up in your in everything. Maybe maybe this is a very progressive game, so you're constantly leveling up in things, which is super cool. Um, and then I think that's ancestry. So that must be replacing like races and stuff. It's a nicer term, just ancestry or background or whatever. Or, yeah, there's background and there's ancestry. So very, very cool. I, I'm really excited about the mana point system. Um, I use a lot of uh, spell points in my own D&D games. So this is really, really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep it short enough so I, I don't have as much editing to do, but let me know what you think of all this so far. Like what here excites you? What are you looking forward to here the most? Uh, if this is to go ahead and become a big thing, this is really, really cool. I personally am looking forward to the mana point system. Maybe this action system, if that is true, that there's only four actions, that's amazing. Uh, and then the leveling up in individual skills, it's super cool. Very interested to see where the four skills goes into. I guess that really makes every single attribute uh important as opposed to like i can just dump constitution or i can just dump uh i don't know strength i know a lot of people do those uh so very very fun stuff um thank you so much for watching and uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this where they where you think uh, D, D is gonna go this does excite me personally this is a way cooler looking system than just uh a whole new fifth edition that uh, is kind of just being made to make more books. This just seems like a really cool, genuine, thought out system. So it's very cool that they've had this in the wings the whole time. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe, uh, comment, like, um, and thank you. This is Gabriel Galway, the Ugly Goblin, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. All right, <laughs> goodbye. Hello, uh, it's me, Post Video Gabriel. <laughs> Some of you may have noticed that this system looks a little familiar. If you watch The Dungeon Coach, you'll know this system to be DC20. So this is my very first ever sponsored video. And I know that I think The Dungeon Coach's most popular video he ever made was a prank. It was an April Fool's video. So I figured it'd be really nice if, you know, I do an April Fool's video too for my first sponsorship, which is with DC20. So for anyone curious, if this has sparked your interest, this seems like a system that you'd be into, you can go check it out with my affiliate link below. Right now it's on sale. So you, the price is being cut down completely with that affiliate link. The version that's out right now is 0.6. And this is the last version, I'm pretty sure, that will be released before the Kickstarter, uh, which is coming out in a few months. So if you want to get playing now, see if it's a system that you like for a very, very cheap price, uh, check out the affiliate link below, and I'll keep you updated when the Kickstarter goes live. I'm running one shot with this whole system, which I'll be doing a video on very, very soon, which I'm super excited about. It's going to be a Western. Uh, we've got some wacky characters being made. And I'm just really, really excited to start talking about this. Uh, I love D&D. &D, uh, however, I will admit that this is a superior system in many, many ways. So do check it out if you can. Links in the description below. And I'll see you later. Have a fun April Fools, guys. Bye. <laughs>